जय श्री राम वेलकम टू एस्ट्रोलॉजी विद अभिलाषा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्टोरी ऑफ प्लानट मंगल द बर्थ स्टोरी एंड हाउ डज दिस स्टोरी फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्क्रिप्चर्स कैन बी रिलेटेड टू द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ मंगल मार्स इन योर बर्थ चार्ट एंड हाउ कैन वी डिकोड द रिजल्ट विच कैन बी अप्लाइड वेरी जेनेरिकली to any horoscope so to start with there are multiple stories which are attached to the birth of planets so i'll be picking up as much as i can so the first and most uh, popular tale associated with the birth of planet mangal is that lord shiva was in a very intimate moment with viseki and it happened that agni agni dev intruded into their private moment this enraged lord shiva highly and as we all know lord shiva the innocent भोले भंडारी वेन एवर ही गेट्स एंग्री इट टचेज द एपिटो वी हैव सीन इट इन मल्टीपल स्टोरीज अटैच टू लॉर्ड शिवा सो ही गॉट एनरेस्ड एंड विद द बर्निंग हीट ऑफ एंगर अ स्वेट ड्रॉप फॉर्म्ड ऑन हिज फोर हेड विच फेल अपॉन द फेस ऑफ विसेकी and she got impregnated by this sweat drop as the months passed the formation of embryo happened but viseki unfortunately wasn't prepared or wasn't able to hold upon to this child because of the heat it generated as it was an outcome of anger and sheer uh passion born out of anger so that's why we also should always understand what was the emotion of the parent of a child while they copulated to understand what will the chart bring so here coming back to the story viseki wasn't able to hold the embryo because of the heat it generated into her body so she decided to abort it she aborted the child she was bearing and once the child was aborted and thrown onto the bhumi the land bhumi devi adopted the child the embryo nurtured it and almost developed or raised the child as her own breastfeeding him as well and that child was known as mars and mangal so here we can attach the attribute of anger passion which is denoted to mars and also here we attach the involvement of a third person wherever mars is sitting in your chart there has to be an element of anger involvement of third person and intrusion into that sphere of your life wherever mars is sitting and also there have to be an element of dejection wherever mars is sitting suppose mars is sitting in your second house such a person will never be whole heartedly accepted into their own family because the originator the mother dejected the child because of sheer displeasure or discomfort she was having by holding the embryo into her body itself so similarly their own family 
deject them because sometimes their aggression their speech wound the other person so much that they forcefully have to deject that person discard that person if mass is sitting in the second house so this also shows that if mass is placed in the second house you have to control what you speak in order to remain in cordial relationships with everyone similarly you can say if mass happens to be in the 10th house though it will gain digbal but whenever mass sits in the 10th house such a person will never be wholeheartedly accepted into the working culture if they are into a job just because um they are so much full of passion and fire that the other person the colleagues feel threatened by them so this is how we can relate it to this story of mars similarly wherever mars sits you have to make a mistake in their a uh, field in that house wherever mars is sitting because according to the story mars is an outcome of a certain amount of mistake it wasn't planned it was out of surge of emotion so a mistake have to have have happen in the field in the bhava which mars is placed in suppose mars is placed in the 12th house the person will definitely make a mistake in his investments the person will definitely make a mistake in order to find a spirituality it can also happen that this person can get a uh, wrong medication if mass is placed in the 12th house so these are some nuances which we can achieve if we truly understand the magic of the stories attached to these planet now another story which is attached to the birth of planet mars is that bhu devi is also the concert of lord vishnu when lord vishnu took or reincarnated as varaha their time they spent together gave birth to the planet mars which later got placed in the navagrahas mars mangal is one of the navagraha it attained a position so here we that's why we attribute mangal to the protector of landed properties as well the protector of your spouse that's why whenever mangal is afflicted mars is afflicted we often predict that this horoscope can be bit volatile in the matters of marriage and the longevity of your spouse so you have to be very careful if mars is sitting in a malefic navamsha if mars is afflicted by other malefic planets you have to match the horoscope very minutely so that it get negated nowadays i hear a lot of notion that mangal dosha is not that applicable but i don't find it that true you have to have ma- match the horoscope really perfectly in order to negate if a horoscope is having mangal dosha because not only it disrupt your married life or the pleasure out of marriage it also disrupt your chances of having a good property 
property disputes are seen by mangal because we attached this planet to be born out of bhudevi there is another story attached to the birth of planet mars that is it was born out of the drop of blood of lord shiva that's why in many classics mars is also attributed to the blood in our body system similarly we can see if there is some affliction to mars it can relate to some irregularities in your blood culture as well so these are the factors which we can derive out of the story of a planet